Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode, another one of these fun episodes I, I, I like to do, uh, we're going to go over uh, a manga, and I'm basically going to go over the, the manga with you and give you the lines as it goes and tell you what the basic story is about, okay? Okay, and this episode is a really popular comic uh, from Dengeki Daio, all right, the same guy's watch like the Tenshi Mio and that kind of stuff like that. Um, there's a manga in here for Setsugoyo Graduation. Now that game I played a lot on the PC Engine. And it's a, you know, gra it's a, basically a graduation simulator. And uh, so I'm gonna go through the comic with this, okay? So, uh, before we start, I would like to, course, like to remind everyone to click like and click subscribe, okay? Um, and uh, don't forget to put your notifications on. I got a lot of episodes coming up, uh, uh, you know, as I finish off the My Anime list. And I'm also gonna do a lot of uh, extra, you know, reactionary videos to a lot of extra content. I've got an interview coming up as well. So a lot of info, a lot of good stuff coming up. So you do want to make sure you are subscribed, right? So uh, I'll give you a little bit of history. Uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, when I was playing lots of, uh, you know, PC Engine games and that kind of stuff, one of the big games I loved to play was Sotsugoyo Graduation, okay? And uh, this game was basically a simulator. Uh, basically, you're the teacher and you have five students you have to control the schedule and that kind of stuff of the five students, and then you're supposed to get them to graduate, uh, and, and 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 you know and get you know, whatever position that is, and then you get a, you get a mark on what kind of teacher you are. Um, the fun thing about that is that if you, uh, you know, you can try to do all the, the other things, you know, to to get the students to where they're supposed to, like you know, good endings. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, and that's what you're supposed to do, but you can also do the opposite and you get all the students to, you know, fail or do, you know, the opposite, right? Bad things start happening to them and the, and you can get the, those outcomes, right? So that's what this game is is, is really about. And, and so what is relatively popular, they made an OVA series of it. I recommend watching the Graduation OVA series, so number one and two. Um, they, they made a commercial version of the you know, uh, you know, OVA number three and four, and they called it the Sailor Victory episode, so you can see that, you know, in um, US release, okay? Again, that's not the real graduation, that's sort of a, you know, a side story, of course, but if you want to check the anim animation out, that, that's always good, okay? And so basically, I saw, so I came across this, uh, you know, comic, Dengeki Daio, uh, the uh, artwork is done by, you know, one of my favorite artists, so uh, I decided, okay, well, I'll uh, I'll, I'll do it through and again, uh, you know, this is uh, you know Another way surprising sort of things is that this is another portrayal of the classic Cinderella story So again something that you will recognize and this is how anime again sort of portrays and does something strange With the story of Cinderella again. I've done other episodes that has Cinderella on it uh, You know, I've done this, you know, kind of a, a fist of the North Star version of Cinderella, you know um, so, you know, you might want to check that one out as well. Um, you see what happens when, you know, a Moiwa Shindaru uh, happens in a Cinderella story. So, before I begin again, I'm going to uh, go through and uh, use the clips from the OEVA to explain the personality of each of the characters, okay? So you know what to expect, what kind of, you know, model that you should think of all these, uh, of all these, um, uh, the, the five girls, okay? Um, and then I'll go through each of the pages of the manga and go, you know, um, give you the outline for the story for that, okay? So, without further delay, let's begin. Okay, so we'll begin with the first character, Reiko. Now, she's going to be a very, um, you know, rich and affluent type of a person. She dresses really well. Uh, she drives to school uh, like by a chauffeur. She is uh, knows what, what her uh, manners and her, her politeness is supposed to be. Uh, her tastes are extremely high. There are a couple of situations where it shows that her class is you know so much higher because of you know she tries normal food and she's just you know. Uh, you know, disappointed that it isn't uh, more higher caliber food. You'll find her character, she likes to be in control um, and, uh, you know, prefers to be the dominant one. But that is the character of Reiko. Okay, the next character is Kiyomi Arai. Now, she's a really interesting character. Uh, she basically is like Madoka in Orange Road. Uh, very, uh, you know, tomboyish, okay, she basically rides bikes, uh, she here uh, works in her father's uh, bike shop and she knows anything about bikes. Uh, her voice uh, character is done by uh, Hiromi Sudo, which is uh, Madoka's voice actor, um, 
as well as the fact that her last name is Arai, which happens to be the name of a motorcycle helmet. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's very interesting. So anyway, she's very uh, strong, very independent. Um, you know, uh, she's a bit of a, a, a rough edge to her, shall we say. Uh, sort of uh, as a mad oak resemblance. Okay, the next character is M Mami Shimura. And uh, she's your basically class uh, bubblehead. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, shall we say uh, blonde complex, if you will. Um, but... You know, she's uh, not that good at her, uh, her grades, and uh, you know, usually the, the source of all the problems. Uh, you know that, you know, i.e., OEVA number one. So you know, uh, you know, everyone has to also you know, has to look after her, and uh, you know, make up for her shortcomings. You know, she'll be the one that always wants to be doing the fun things or wants to be participating in many things, even though that she's probably not that capable of doing so. But you know, that's the high school life. Okay, the next character is Mika Kato. Uh, she's pretty much like a, a, an everyday, everyday student. Uh, she works uh, as the uh, extra helping hand in the family restaurant. And uh, she basically keeps the group sort of together, not the de facto head, but you know, she does come up with some ideas and uh, uh, you know, keeps uh, everyone in the loop sort of thing and trying to, you know, be the coordinator for a lot of things and comes up with some of the various ideas for the, what the group should do. Okay, so, um, you know, she's sort of like the, you know, the organizer, if you will, uh, in this role, uh, in this particular game. Okay, and the last character is Shizuka Nakamoto. Now, she's basically, you're going to be your quiet, um, you know, studious type of student, uh, you know, um, very shy, very passive. Um, you know, basically, she doesn't make too many decisions by herself. She also, uh, you know, tends to follow uh, you know the things that uh, you know her friends will do, and uh, in the game, she's probably the closest into Kyoko Otanashi from Maison Kaku. Uh, you know, she'll most likely be you know the easiest character to get you know, th that you can get to marry the teacher. All right, so that's all the characters all taken care of and uh, what, and whatnot. So now you know how, um, what you can expect for uh, how the characters would should react. Um, so now we begin the manga. And uh, I'll actually go through the different, different pages. And as I said, I'll go kind of, you know, just uh, briefly and quickly so that, uh, you know, you get the, the general idea and, uh, and the general flow of the manga. I won't translate each and every single frame as, uh, you know, we won't exactly need everyone, uh, you know, to get the flow. Um, and basically, yeah, so we'll see how this Cinderella story plays out with these characters, all right? So let's begin with that. Okay, so looking from this uh, front cover, it looks like. Uh, Mammy chan is going to be so the, the magical girl, I guess, uh, yeah, or the fairy godmother or whatever, uh, which sort of makes sense for her. Yeah, uh, okay, and it looks like Reiko is going to be the uh, uh, evil stepsister, right? That's, that's the dominating role, the, you know, the boss, as it were, so that that's probably very fitting for her. And then they got, uh, she's uh, doing the, uh, you know, the, uh, Cinderella. Um, you know, since she's the you know quiet passive one, yeah, you know, takes all the orders. Okay, so yeah, uh, she she can be the, uh, the the you know the submissive one, and then <clears throat> the other two characters are on the side here. Uh, obviously, um, you know, they're going to be. Uh, we'll see what their exact role in the play is uh, when we see it down here. Okay, so this seems to be a pretty interesting setup right now. I think yeah, when you play the game. You know, this is uh, probably the setup that, that, that will ha end up happening in the game as well. Okay, so one of the things that happens in the game, uh, uh, school graduation, is that uh, during the uh, you know, Spring Festival, you're supposed to do a school play. And in the school play, then obviously you, you know, have to choose a, obviously a story, and then uh, the various different characters get placed into different roles into the story. So in this particular example in the game, uh, they're doing the uh, a, a retelling of the Wizard of Oz, and basically they got Draco as Dorothy. They've got uh, you know, uh, and then basically they filled in all the other characters uh, for the uh, uh, you know for the Tin Man, the Lion, and, and the Scarecrow. Okay, and then of course the, you know, in the game you're graded on <clears throat> how well they'll perform those particular um, characters with their personalities. You see, so. You know, obviously a very dominant, you know, S and M type of, uh, you know, Reiko character playing, you know, Dorothy, uh, you know, is you know kind of strange, and but uh, you know it has different effects and whatnot. So 
obviously in this uh, manga, they're you know they're gonna do a some sort of festival, and obviously they're gonna do the story of Cinderella. Okay, so the story starts off with mommy. Uh, with a very quick message to everyone. He goes, okay, everyone, we're going to meet at the restaurant and we're going to decide uh, what we're going to do for the play. Okay, so then uh, everyone sort of meets up there. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, when uh, Kiyomi arrives, she's uh, furious that uh, she got signed up for this, right? Again, you know, she's not, you know, not her thing. And then, so of course, uh, she goes out and grabs uh, Mika was obviously, you know, her great idea to do this, and she's gonna drag her outside and have a good yelling at her. Mika goes, "Wait, wait, Kiyomi!" And uh, of course, Kiyomi was not paying attention. She was angry and pulling her out. Goes, "Let me outside and have a word with you." She says, "I'm sorry." And then all of a sudden, <laughs> then Reika shows up and is saying, "Oh, sorry, I'm late." And then Mika replies, uh, uh oh, this is going to complicate things. I've decided on a program that will emphasize my beauty and elegance. It's going to be a splendid role that brings out this beautiful me even more. Isn't, isn't it going to be great? Uh, I can do Catherine from Arashigaoka, which is uh, Wuthering Heights, uh, or Marguerite from La Traviata. You may notice uh, uh, Reiko's um, uh, servant in the back there is got a basket of rose petals, and she he's basically throwing them up in the air to basically help uh, with the effect and everything. And then the waitress from the restaurant is back in the in the, in the uh, behind him going, "Oh, Gaksama!" which is basically going, "You're in a restaurant. You're making a mess of my restaurant." Oh, as long as I can act, you'll have a brilliant performance from me. So, Kato, uh, what did you decide? And then Kato's kind of uh, lost words going, um, well, you see, um, um... Well, I'm going home. Takagi-san, wait! You notice the restaurant worker having to clean up all the rose petals off the floor that uh, Reiko threw all over the place. And then she <laughs> laughs. Well, that was sort of the outcome we expected. Man. Our group has to come up as a, as a great, lively idea for the festival. I even neg negotiated with the uh, the teacher to help us to make it more colorful. What are we gonna do? And then Kiyomi kill me, comes back in. Ah, <laughs> all right, no problem, Kato. You can give me any role you want. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Uh, you can make me the monkey or dog or any role. And then uh, Kato's. Is surprise kill me so next day okay so back at school uh, uh, they're discussing the play Reiko goes yeah which is no way and of course his angers uh, kill me he goes Takagi-san you I'm the one who said I'll throw away my pride I don't know who you are. The play Momotaro does not help my aesthetic looks. So if the program is not changed, I will not participate. You okay with that? And everyone's... <sighs> and mommy doesn't know what's going on. And uh, Kato's going... Ah. And she's kind of, it's usually as quiet as usual. Okay, then Mika quietly says... Cinderella? And uh, Reiko goes, Okay, I can forgive you for that one. It's better than Momotaro. And, and uh, Nomichi goes, Ah, oh, Mammy wants to do Momotaro. And then Kiyomi goes, Well, I guess that's better than playing a, a dog or a monkey. And those are, if, if, you, if they played Momotaro, the choices of other characters would have been other than Momotaro would have been his companions, which was be a, a giant dog, a, um, a monkey, or a pheasant, okay? So those are the you know the other options that for characters in the play. So uh, kill me would be happy. And then Mika's uh, delighted. Okay, then it's settled. I'm not going to change my mind. Okay, so let's begin uh, casting the roles. The first role is Cinderella. 
She's going to be the poor, ill-fated uh, girl that's going to take the abuse from the stepmother and her stepsisters, but then she'll turn into the beautiful girl. Nakamoto-san, what a perfect image. Now, if you were the evil stepmother, well, um, well, who else better would be right here? Pat, 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 pat. Nah, nah, nah. Kato-chan, Kato uh, what about you? What are you going to do? Uh, and he goes, uh, me? Um, Mimi, me, me, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I, see, I, I'm going to be good at, at, at uh, organizing and directing. And then, of course, Kiyomi is going, hmm, maybe I was a little bit too quick uh, about protecting myself. <clears throat> With my generous self, I concede the leading role for Cinderella to you, Nakamoto-san. Good luck, Nakamoto-san. Now that we have it all decided, uh, I didn't need to use any emergency measures. What? Emergency measures? What do you mean? Oh, didn't you know? I have some unemployed uh, ex-KGB agents uh, at my house, and uh, I'm currently hiring for servants. I could have had them put laxatives in your lunch today. And all of a sudden, everyone's like, <laughs> Today, there wasn't any need to use any emergency measures. <laughs> Is she really our friend? Okay, and then later on, they are practicing um, at the in the gym. And he goes, oh, hello everyone, how are you doing? And they go, ah, oh, the teacher, uh, Mika. He says, ah, oh, do you remember about the unit? Ah, oh, don't worry about it, we got it under control. Okay. Ah, uh, teacher, you're in for a really big surprise. I'm also going to help you out with a little bit of the directing. So the story will be active and sensitive. It's going to be the Hyper Cinderella Story 1994. Let's <laughs> see. Ah, uh, I see. And Nakamoto-san will be the star. And I will be the one to outshine everyone on that day. <laughs> and Kiyomi san is, ah, oh, it's so noisy in here. Well, it seems that everyone is so supportive of you, uh, and and they're happy that I'm letting you do this. Uh, <laughs> the teacher believes. You guys are great. You will make a great performance. And then Sunny goes, Sensei! The teacher says, Okay, I'm expecting you to do your best. Good luck! And the top bubble, Why do I feel so nervous? And then Mika responds, But of course, we've got it! And then her thought bubble goes, Perhaps. Okay, on the day of the performance, Our next performance will be from third year, uh, class B. Their performance is the Hyper Cinderella 94, and uh, the principal is uh, talking to the t uh, talking to the uh, teacher, and he goes, "What about Sensei? It's going to be all right, isn't it?" There are members of the PTA and the director of the Board of Education are here. And the teacher is like really uh, uh, nervous. Once upon a time in a certain country, there was a kind and beautiful girl. With no relatives, she was put in the care of her mean stepmother and sister-in-law. The eldest daughter is Kiyomi Nesama, and she is strong yet very strict. The second daughter is Mami, and she is quite mindless and doesn't think of anything. Hey, Cinderella! There's a ladies gathering tomorrow that I'm going to. It's time for you to wash this by tomorrow. And she slams all her clothes down. Shizuka goes, Sona! Which is, uh, you know, so bad. And the Kiyomi goes up and goes, What is this attitude? Do you need to be punished? And then 
Cinderella goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then Mammy comes along and goes, Cinderella, Cinderella, uh, guess what I've done? I bought a new gag. And the gag is located right next to the abandoned house next door. Oh, right on, cool. And then she goes, goes back going, it's the same gag over and over again every day. Oh, well, can't be helped. Mother's tea time. Okasama! And all of a sudden the lights go out. It goes, huh? The lights went out. What's this? Wow, lasers! Amazing! What does this B Jim have to do with a uh, stepmother? Novel idea. Miss Reiko, number one in Japan. Says, what are those foreigners doing? No, I'm sure they're just uh, Takage Kun's bodyguards. So those are the KGB guys. It's amazing what humans will do for money. Cinderella. Are you done the cleaning and the washing? Yes. Then I'll have some tea. Dozo, please. This is only warm and too much sugar. <laughs> I don't have a bad memory to say that I'm completely human because the taste of tea is different every day. And I was bullied every day. Oh, what a poor Cinderella. Then, one day, a letter comes in. Oh, it's an invitation to the ball at the castle. Yay, mommy wants to go, mommy wants to go. Cinderella goes, I'd like to go too. And everyone stares at her. Ah, <laughs> you want to go, but I don't have a dress for you. You can't even make tea. Poor Cinderella. She falls down depressed. But then suddenly, Miss, why are you crying? Ta-da! Mommy and Nesma, that's pretty cool. Mommy chan nadi. Uh, she's a witch so but the tone is well this is what a witch is well that's right but details don't matter when kind people are going to give you a dress you should not criticize them too much Cinderella, Cinderella apologizes I'm sorry so here we go new dress This is my new dress? I don't think this is the kind of dress for that kind of party. This is what I give you. Because as you see, you are your true identity is the Kamen Cinderella. I, the, the masked Cinderella. <laughs> I have heard everything. If you really want to go to the party, you'll have to defeat me first. Hokasama. And then mommy goes, a different Nari or witch. She's a member of the Nari who is secretly plotting to take over the earth. She is disguised as your stepmother. <laughs> well done. Because you know my true identity. Okay, Reiko steps behind the curtain and then the sign says, during the change. <clears throat> it says, I am your match, common Cinderella. <laughs> now that I'm out of hiding, I can let my true potential out. KGB combat servant. And then the thought bubble says, wow, I sound cool. Attack! And at the bottom, uh, both Kiyomi and Mika have no idea what's going on. 
Mask Cinderella is in danger. All the good children in the venue will cheer you on, Cinderella. Okay, the board director and the PTA person goes, uh, this has changed into a department store skit. He goes, hmm, very bold interpretation. And while the principal's like, Urabe Sensei! And he, he's passing out going, I am now pretending to be dead. Meanwhile, Cinderella is like, he's yelling, ah, stay away from me! And she's going, no, no, stay away from me! And Cinderella kick! Wow, common Cinderella is so cool! Those guys are so useless. Okay, here I come, I'm your opponent now! Forgive me, Akasuma. And the audience cheers, even though they're not sure what's going on. And Enrique goes, I've been defeated. You've been getting stronger, Cinderella. And then Cinderella goes, Okasama. But if you think you've won, you've made a big mistake. You know, I thought in the event that I might lose, I've decided to set the gym to self-destruct. <laughs> you did what? And then the other guy's going, Miss Reiko, Banzai! <laughs> and that's three months of detention for all of you! Says the angry teacher. It was high, and Mika's holding a sign that says uh, Nakamoto is is in the hospital for overworking. Hey, hey next is the Sings uh, Festival. Stop it, Takagi-kun. No more of your ideas. <laughs> All right, I know people are not really funny and uh, you know kind of you know strange at the same time. Maybe if you have a chance, you can pick up the PC Engine and you can try that game. Uh, Goyo uh, uh, graduation. It's not that hard to play. It's it's it's, it's manipulations of the numbers. So if you see what the numbers are doing, you do certain actions, right? So it's it's not that hard to get sort of the the you know, the, the idea of what to do. Um, just you know you just gotta figure out what the you know you gotta translate some of the menus a little bit, and that's really about it. It's a pretty a simple game to play. Um, anyway, so like I said there's lots of good stuff coming out. Don't forget to stay scrubbed with that, right? So. Until next time, I'll see you.